Good. Greetings, I am Rob Chapman. And I'm the captain. And today we're going to talk to you all about firebirds and where to find them. Magical Absolutely. Mysteries, mysterious beasts that might fly away and burn things. The firebird. With your scorchy I lo- tones. I love the firebird. It's been in many different guises over the years as Gibson do various things to these, you know, five, six, sevens, all that kind of stuff. Reverse headstocks, non-reverse headstocks, reverse bodies, non-reverse bodies, mm. all kinds of weird stuff. But this is the 2017 uh, Gibson USA Firebird is the one Rob's got in the traditional spec. I've got the one in the high performance spec. And over the back here in this very fetching Pelham Blue is the Studio, which is also available in uh, a traditional and a high performance spec. This one's the traditional You know, spec I just one. associate that blue with Andertons and always have. Pelham Blue. Maybe mm. we should maybe we should move to Pelham. Is that a place? I, I'm going to say yes, but I absolutely don't. I think don't Pelham's know. in London. Or is that Peckham? <clears throat> I think Pelham's in the heart. Really? Jack, and it always will be. Yeah. I don't know what he's talking about. Big trouble um, in China, the best woman in China. Uh, another big trouble in little China China's quote. in the heart, Jack. <clears throat> okay, so look. Um, it's a bird. It's a not going to go through all the uh, spec differences between high performance. Well, I'll rush through them. So again, high performance, magic tuners. Look, they're actually a bit different. In fact, this is, if, if Rob flips his over, he's got the proper banjo tuners that you associate with the Firebird. I've got magic tuners with more conventional machine heads. Uh, slightly wider neck uh, on, the, on the high performance. Titanium adjustable zero um, fret. Sli- is it a different heel joint? Yes, different heel joint. Uh, you'll see the strap button is in a different place, and this is a slightly more chamfered heel joint. Chamfered heel um, joint. Same pickups on the two, albeit chunkier switch here and different knobs. You know, chamfered um, heel joint sounds like a place you could live. Where do you they've live? Got, down chamfered heel joint. They've got a nice spa there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. It's good. It is. I'm going to go and get a, my foot massage in chamfered uh, heel joint. You know, I'm so <laughs> jealous of, of how good of a player Kenny Wayne Shepherd is that I decided from now on I'm just going to refer to myself in my full name. Because I think he's got a cool name as well. So I'm Robert Sutherland Chapman. And I'm Lee Sinjan Anderton. Or St. John, depending, strictly speaking, on my birth certificate, it's written as St. John. But I gather it's such a common middle name that it gets sped up to Sinjan. You know, and I, I felt so embarrassed at school at having like a slightly knobby middle name until um, Airwolf came out. Yeah, and, yeah. And uh, yeah. Stringfellow Hawk's brother was called Sinjan. Sinjan Hawk. So and harsh. I thought, so harsh it's when his okay. girlfriend dies in a desert of dehydration right in the beginning, I'm just like... <laughs> yeah. So I've got this wicked, <laughs> wicked sounding neck pickup, man, which I'm playing with the RD1. And... God, I was in drop tea. Winding off some of that ganache. In the mid ale positions, mid. Oh, I love that. In the bridge. I was shooting a video and just was you excited did. about playing guitar. Well, look, with you. So as well as being quite probably the most peculiar looking guitar in the Gibson range, um, it has a, a, a neck 
and uh, and sort of pickup configuration that's sort of shifted. So you've got this huge massive guitar over here that doesn't sort of have anything other than wood. And then the kind of the, the bridge the bridge starts high up and then the neck kind of finishes further away. And then of course you've got this huge headstock here to play with. Yeah. So it's it's a weird <laughs> kind of different guitar to play and Although not always, but traditionally, and certainly on these models, uh, you would have mini humbuckers, which obviously are, well, and that's one of the differences. The studio version has the humbuckers on it, but the, the regular version has the mini humbuckers. And I guess they're just a sort of a, you know, they're very slightly different sounding pickup to a full humbucker, aren't they? I mean. say they've got less gain would you no than, not than at all I'm just I'm looking and I'm a bit jealous that my guitar hasn't got the metal uh, kind of scythe uh, you know what it looks like you know it reminds me of it reminds me of one of the blades on, a, on uh, one of those from the shuriken from Kroll when he throws it towards the slayers slayers and they throw the the the, the, the uh, I, you're right Kroll do you remember Kroll there's a f Film, excuse me. There's a film that yeah, I've seen for a while. Back in the days when people really had films. I think my favourite film of that era was Beastmaster. True, but Beastmaster didn't have Ergo. Short of stature, tall of. Uh, had Cyclops, so, though, yeah. didn't it? Yeah, the Cyclops was very sad though because he, he knew he was going to die and he did. Of course, he could see yeah, his own he future. He could see his own future and his own death, yeah. yeah. Just, I always thought as well, Beastmaster, if I'd have been Beastmaster. She was so fit, that bird from Beastmaster. Oh, I I, but I would have changed into better animals. I would have given her I a nice ferret. I always thought it was very limited, yeah. <laughs> like he only ever changed either into an eagle or a ferret, didn't he? Or did he change no, into he a bear a, sometimes a, a or a tiger lion? No, no, he didn't turn into them, he summoned them. So he, come on, man. You, you don't totally remember Beastmaster? Right. Well, he could see through the eagle's eyes, couldn't them? he? he <laughs> couldn't he see through all their eyes? <laughs> Have I got this confused with yeah, another film? Yeah, you can see film? through their eyes. You can you see can through see... their eyes, right, but he, they didn't actually become them. No, you're right, he, he summoned He could them. see through a ferret. Yeah, but or... I'd have summoned better animals. I, I don't know, an elephant or something. They were pretty good animals, or to be rabbit. fair. He got laid. He could fight. Yeah, but I don't think, but I don't think he used his animal Do his summoning Do his powers. Name? I know the actor was the no, guy no, no, no. from uh, the Midnight name? Caller, wasn't it? The character's name was Dar. Dar. I know everything about 80s films. Real films. Yeah, back when they didn't have CGI, they just had men in rubber suits. Let's just get rid of the guitars and do film reviews from now on from the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway. Would it be fair to say that the Firebird is a statement guitar? You don't really buy a Firebird because what you're looking for is optimum playability and tonal sort of, you know, versatility. That's, that's, uh, those, the them's word of fighting words because I would say it plays really well. For me, I feel much more at home on a Firebird really? than I would do some, the other, well, some of the other Gibson range. Uh, but it's, the, it's that kind of fast, shreddy neck, you know. It is a thin neck. I'll give you that. It's, it's a Gibson's thin neck. It's Gibson's answer to Jackson and sort of, um, you know, all the... All no, the really, it isn't. All the really pointy, uh, shreddy things. <laughs> but it's a shreddy neck. No, but it's not there. Uh, this was around like 20 years before any of them, maybe not 20 years. I'm just years, saying provocative. Uh, you were being provocative devil there, weren't you? statements, you know. Um, what was citing the, the, the lead character from Kroll Do you remember his name? The lead character from Kroll. The, the guy from Kroll, what was his name? Kevin. No, nope, Corbin. God, I knew That's it was two Kurt. names you haven't known now. <laughs> I'll, I'll continue to test you. <laughs> I, don't. And the, I have the memory of a fish. Who are you again? I was going to talk about Fizz Geek, but I think it'd be better to leave the Fizz Dark Geek. Crystal out of it. Yeah, Fizz Geek, Dark Crystal. Great. That, yes, never ending story. That was, oh my God. That destroyed me as a film. It was such a great film. What other one? Labyrinth? Labyrinth was brilliant. You'll never see your sister again. <laughs> <laughs> I am the Goblin King. The Dark Crystal, I remember that. I think I remember going to the cinema to see that. What Didn't that basically have the Muppets in it? Uh, no, like well, they were, it was Jim Henson's Creature Muppets. Workshop and they created yeah. all the amazing creatures and things. Things like Firebirds. Do you see how I bought that back around? Very good. You're you know what, that would be a great tattoo as well if you were a big Firebird fan. I agree. I agree. That would look sick on your army. He's got like very pointy legs. Yeah, they're quite, they're just basically stilts. With no feet. It's a bird. With, it's not practical. It's a stilt bird. He and would attack wings. you. He would attack you by aiming his very pointy legs at you. And literally just landing on you and going, ah! <laughs> Like those things that you eat corn on the cob with. You know, where you stick them either. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell it's the end of the day, everybody? No. Nope. No. Nope. Not even um, slightly. So there we go, look. So this is, this is the Firebird 
uh, traditional spec Firebird, high performance spec. Um, well, as you're loving that guitar so much, I how am. about I get the studio? Do it, bro. And then you can show, although we've got different amps, but you, hopefully you guys will be able to sort of hear some difference. You can show what your mini humbucker sounds like. Oh, but well, this is quite, a lot, quite a lot lighter. I'm guessing it's because it's it, one of the things, one of the bits of detail I love on the Firebird is this center block kind of raised See, bit. I'm not so much a fan of that. I wish that would go. No, visually though, aesthetically, I think it looks awesome. Now this doesn't have that. Feel how much lighter that is than the one without it. Oh my God, quick. It's literally, yeah, Tether come it. back down. Yeah. It's the wings on the Firebird. It's floating away. Just can never land. Despite the fact it, they're not connected to the bird in any way at all. <laughs> yeah, well, that's magic. Could never land because it would never be it would able burn to. burn the floor. Would just, no, it would just fall over. Hi, children. I um, can't land on you, though. I'm confused, Robert Sutherland Chapman. Why is that, Lisa? Because this feels like, and I'm just looking to see if it is. This feels, it, I shorter. think it is. The bridge feels like it starts earlier on, so yeah, the neck uh, finishes it's a earlier. Looking, so it uh, feels device. more comfortable to play. This is the, this is clearly the Firebird for the for the sort of the guy who doesn't normally play Un -initiated Firebird. Uninitiated Firebird yes. uh, player. Yeah, but anyway, so sorry. Give me your big drop okay. tune. Do the same on the bridge pickup. Yeah, I don't know. I, I've always been confused about the purpose of a mini humbucker. Is it is it simply a humbucker in a smaller casing? It clearly must use slightly smaller I mean, magnets. Just, I think so it's it must just built a different, different way and it's a different shape. Genius. Uh, so the Firebird Studio, as well as feeling a lot lighter, feeling like it's uh, a little bit more compact to play. A bit bluer. Um, it is, of course, uh, the same basic uh, body shape but the headstock now feels like it's the right way up. So, and is it um, a glue-on rather than a neck through? Yes, it, it is, is a it is a glue-on neck. Um, and this has the 496 uh, humbuckers on them, 496R, 496T. If you went for the high performance, again, slightly hotter bridge pickup. Um, so let's just do a couple of tones and then... <laughs> more of that SG kind of rasp yeah. to it, hasn't it? Rather yeah. than the full fatness of a, of a Les Paul. Uh, if one of these fine and dandy firebirds is uh, capturing your imagination and uh, as I speak, uh, all the different color options will flow across the screen. Um, depending on what you go for, the base, you know, the cheapest one will be the one I'm holding now, which will be the traditional spec studio firebird. The dearest one will be the um, high performance standard firebird. And they all range from about 1100 up to about 1600 depending on what you want to do and then uh, finally if you go for the studio versions you get gig bags regular gig bag with the traditional spec posh gig bag with the high performance spec and on the standard ones you get the regular gig bag with this one and the, the posh kind of you know airstream style one for the for the hp so look rob and i are going to jam out any requests uh no i just wanted to say that the first time i ever saw a phoenix was in the bbc television series box of delights which was the best thing that ever happened to television well, that's all I wanted to say. Nothing Let's wrong play. with the box of delights. Nothing wrong with the box of delights. <laughs> Thank you.
Rory from the UK. Tell me about Rory. So he uh, edits videos. Rory's awesome. <laughs> <laughs>